The Game Upgrade Plugin, a plugin that upgrades your game. It's already at version 1.10. Don't ask why. Anyway, this thing upgrades a game so much. Just look at the before and after pictures. But what else can this plugin do, you ask? Well, it can change a game's resolution. What the? Another resolution plugin? This is, this is blasphemy! Ah, but can your other resolution plugins set up a minimum and maximum size for your window? Instead of allowing players to just make their window infinitely small for, uh, well, I don't even know why. Game upgrade allows you to put a restriction on the minimum size of the window just like this. Useful! But resizing is the most useless thing an RPG maker ever! Then that's perfect because you can also disable resizing altogether with the allow resize parameter by setting it to false just like that. Now it's literally impossible for players to even resize the window at all, so... Yeah, um... You can't, you can't get the arrow thing, it's just, it's just, un, it's unresizable. You can also directly customize the window's title just right this, so we can input like... The title exclamation point. And there it is. If you want the game to start in full screen, that is available option. Furthermore, if you want to make so the game has a frame or doesn't have a frame, you can disable it or enable it. And finally, if you want the game to always stay on top of all other windows on your browser or on your, like, you know, your, your computer, you can turn this to on. So now as you can see, even if I grab our RPG maker window right here, it's not gonna go on top of it. So yeah, yeah. With this plugin, you also have various control over various core defaults, for example, the audio master volume, the video master volume, the image catch limit for the 1.5 update, the decryptor ignore list, which you may a list of image files that the decryptor will ignore, meaning that they should be decrypted already. For example, the window.png, which by default, when you encrypt your project, the window.png will not be encrypted in order to speed things up just that much faster. If you have any other files, maybe like a player defined file or maybe like some other kind of file, I don't know, just input the file right here and this file will be ignored within the decry within the decryptor. You can input the JSON AX max death and of course the retry intervals in which the retry loading resources thing retries to retry. Make like 5,000. Finally, within the parameters, you can customize the default pixie settings. For example, garbage collection mode, so you can set it to one of these three. Set it whether you can use round pixels or not. Maybe set it so you're going to use a different type of scale mode, linear or nearest. Or maybe you can use a different type of wrap mode. Awesome! But what, what do those things mean? I have no idea. But hey, now you can customize them. Now if you scroll down here, I bet you should find some plugin commands. Force closed, closes the game window, focus window, focus on the game window, minimize window, wind minimizes the game window, unminimize window, unminimizes the game window, maximize window, maximizes the game window, unmaximize window, unmaximizes the game window, request attention, request attention to the game window, taskbar show, makes the game accessible from the taskbar, a taskbar hide, removes the game from the taskbar, enter Kowalski mode, I think that's how it's pronounced, enters Kowalski mode, leave Kowalski mode, leaves that mode, set progress bar to a ratio, and then it sets that progress bar to that ratio. Those are a lot of commands! Yeah. I'm gonna go upstairs now. Bye bye. Oh, my mouse can't go up that high. Wait. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. If you want, if you want to ascend to the next level, subscribe or click on one of the videos on screen using the cool YouTube annotation feature. Bye.